Who is ready to rix flix and relax to some Halloween Horror Night rumors? And now this just isn't some random video. This is my big lay it on the line prediction video. Let's get to it. This is it guys, this is the big video. This is the list that you can judge me on for the year to see if I still have my mojo for predicting Halloween Horror Nights houses. And in case you didn't know, Halloween Horror Nights is Universal's big Halloween event. You have to purchase a separate ticket to get into this event and this is the 30th anniversary year for HHN. Now typically, Halloween Horror Nights has five scare zones and 10 haunted houses. Now for this video, I do not have any information on the five scare zones, but I have pieced together a puzzle and I've come up with nine of the 10 houses that I believe will happen this year at Halloween Horror Nights. And look who has joined me. Hey guys. You know why? Because she loves talking about rumors. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> you love it. No, but I love Halloween Horror Nights. So I'm, I'll jump in on this one. Um, so we're gonna start, I think, with the intellectual property houses. Okay. Um, and then we'll get to the original houses, mm -hmm. but stay tuned till the end. I'm saving the best house, what I think will be the best house for last. Okay. And it will be an original house. That's awesome. But uh, like I said, on to the IPs first. Okay. So the first one, item number one, the first house we're gonna talk about will be Beetlejuice. Very cool. Now this is something that's been floated out there for a while now. Okay. So this okay. is not earth-shattering uh, prediction I'm making right here. That's true. Uh, but Beetlejuice, I think this will be more of a fun house. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I'm sure he, uh, th there'll be some scares in there for sure. Yeah. But I picture Beetlejuice as being more of a fun house, kind of like the uh, uh, the Killer Clowns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> wearing... Good job. <laughs> yeah, so I'm hoping that they play that Deo song and things like that, you know, from mm -hmm. the movie and all that good stuff. So um, Beetlejuice is quite a character. He's quite snarky and um, sassy, <laughs> so I want to see a lot of that. That's what I'm hoping to see in that in well, that house. And you mentioned something. Uh, yes, go check out the movies before you go to Halloween Horror Nights. Yeah, uh, you'll get a little clue as how things might go in the house. That's true. So there we go. That's the first house, first IP house. Yeah. Next up, we have the Bride of Frankenstein. Very cool. Now, earlier discussions on this revolved around a female monster house. Right. But uh, I think it's been narrowed down to just a Bride of Frankenstein house. Yeah, well, in the monster's house last year, um, I think she scared me the most. As I was walking out the door at the very end, she would jump out and scream. I mean, yeah, I think she's gotten me a couple times. So I'm glad she's got her due. She needs a house for herself. Yes. That's well, awesome. If you remember in earlier videos when we talked about this, mm -hmm. when we thought it might be a, a female monster house, right. I, I kind of struggled myself with finding iconic female monsters. The most iconic is the Bride of Frankenstein. Right, and I guess there was like the Brides of Dracula that people were kind of telling us that, you know, it would could be included in that, but if it's just a Bride of Frankenstein house, she can handle it herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's the She's uh, a strong she's enough character. Queen. She is. <laughs> uh, okay, so, and also previous rumors had the, the female monster house mm -hmm. incorporating Billie Eilish music. Okay. I'm going to go off on a limb here. I'm not crazy about this, but the third house I'm going to predict is a Billie Eilish house. Okay. Uh, that had been bantered about before. It right. was first, okay, Billie will have her own house, and then it was like, oh no, her music will be part of the female monster house. But to oh, me... And, or the like the Lagoon show. That was like one rumor too. Yes, yeah, that's that separate. We're just talking about houses right now. Right, right, right. She can still have the Lagoon show. Oh. Uh, but I am predicting she will have her own house. I'm interested to see what they can do with it. Right? Yeah. I mean, I I'm not going to place any judgment on it yet so far. I like her music. Um, you know, it's dark and, you know, kind of creepy and mysterious sometimes, and sometimes it's bluesy. I don't know. I like, I like her music, so I don't know, what, um, I don't know how the house is going to be, like, yeah. set up, uh, but I'm interested. Like, I'm, you know, I'm, I, my opinion, I'll wait and hold my opinion mm -hmm. until I see it. What would the you scares know? be, though? What would the scares be? Yeah, I guess kind of generic scares. I don't know. Well, we have her 
heard things about there being more, um, what, not actual scare actors maybe this year, but a little bit more... What do you call it? Um, well, I mean, what's I don't know her songs. I don't know if there's can be elements from her songs that are in the scare house. I don't know. Right. But regardless, I'm predicting a Billie Eilish house. Um, reluctantly. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> okay. The fourth house I'm going to predict, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. See, now we're getting into the good stuff. The scary stuff. That's yeah. old school scary. Mm -hmm. Now, have they had, they've had a Texas... They've had, like, Leatherface and stuff before. about before with the, yeah. the classic slashers. So, um, Oh, that not... was going to scare me, I know. <laughs> That's yeah. not going to be an enjoyable house for me. They have a lot of chainsaws there at uh, Universal they could <laughs> use for this house, so... That's um, I'm excited for that one. I like the classic scares, the, you know, Michael Myers, Jason, Freddy, Leatherface, so I'm good with that house. <laughs> now, the fifth house I'm going to predict... And it's from Netflix, but it's not Stranger Things this year. It's That's going to be The Haunting of Hill House. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know if you have seen this on Netflix. We have watched the series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We really enjoy the series. I have to watch it again, but I just remember it being like super intense. Yeah. You know, right? Yeah. I mean, it was very good. It was. I mean, and it's it's a psychological thriller too. It's not just jump scares. So you add all of that. Oh, I, I'm excited about this one, to tell you the truth. So again, something for you to watch before you go to HHN. Mm -hmm, exactly. The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. Not Rich Flicks. <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> and now, let's move on to the original houses. Okay. These are the houses created by um, Universal Creative. And these are usually pretty dang awesome. They often, Universal Creative just it blows my mind because I think a lot of times those houses are my favorite. They often end up being some of the best houses at the event. Definitely. Like Scarecrow in the past. Oh, yeah, that yeah. was one of my favorites of all time. So typically there would be five original houses. Right. I am only predicting four. Putting my puzzle pieces together, I'm missing a puzzle piece. Uh -oh. so, so the first house is unknown. I don't know yet. That's a bummer. Uh, there's one I'm missing. It may. I'm not officially predicting the Terra Queen in this video, but that is a slot that could slide into. But because of the last item we're going to talk about, maybe she would work into that. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. So unknown house, but then the first, uh, actually this is house number two, unknown, and then I'm going to predict the Pumpkin King. So it's an original house. Based on pumpkins, I guess. They do have a lot of jack-o'-lanterns from previous HHNs. Yeah, from that scare zone, that yeah. awesome scare zone. So yeah. yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm calling it the Pumpkin King. So now just, you know, in the future, like when they officially announce the houses, but which by the way, none of this is confirmed by Universal. This, right. These are rumors I'm talking about. Yes. My predictions, you know, maybe they call it the Pumpkin Patch. Well, that's going to count as me getting this right. <laughs> okay. He's got a roundabout way. Yes. So, a house with dealing with pumpkins, uh, the Pumpkin King. Awesome. And in the third house, which is now we're at house, what, total number eight? Yes. Mm -hmm. Bedtime stories. Okay. So, some scary bedtime stories. That'd be cool. Now, I, uh, didn't they have like scary tales before? Something like that. That yeah. was a really like interesting house. Um, it did scare me a little bit in the past, but I remember seeing the set design. It was incredible. And the scare actors doing like such an amazing job in that house, like mm -hmm. in terms of acting out that character. So if it's like that, um, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, well, they they always do a good job creating a backstory and, and building the storylines and stuff. So yeah, uh, all the original houses seem to be really good. So yeah, man. We'll we'll see how bedtime stories, as I'm calling it, turns out. And then the ninth house I'm predicting. Um, number four on the original list, including that unknown. I'm not sure how to count things now since I have the unknown. Uh, <laughs> but the Dungeon of Terror. Ooh. I wonder if that's going to be, like, gory. Probably. Ugh. You know, you know they've, done some, they've done some things like this in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we liked some of those. I can't... What was the house last year? Had, like, the Romans in it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh, Nightingales? That Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. So, you know, they've got that type of, uh, capability. Oh, yeah. I, the attention to detail is insane mm -hmm. with, you know, those original houses. So, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, Dungeon of Terror sounds, well, I don't know, scary. I don't know. Well, it, it does, Terrifying. to me, <laughs> sound kind of generic. 
you know, Dungeons of Terror. I, a catch a catch all. Yeah. But uh, So it's hard to predict exactly I'm what you'll see in it. I'm sure they can do something good with it. Yeah. Uh, so that's the the house I'm predicting, Dungeons of Terror. Um, and the last house I want to predict, this is the good one. This is the good one. I saved it till the end, the anniversary house. So what we think it's going to be is... Past icons. Past icons. How incredible would that be? It's, oh, it'd be amazing. I am, yes, I am strongly in favor. Uh, this, is a, this is a hard... Uh, prediction for me. I mean, it's like I'm really selling this one. This one I believe in. The Anniversary House. So you have uh, icons like Lady Luck. Uh-huh. I'm sure Lady Luck will be involved with this. Uh, then you have things like the Caretaker and the Usher right. from the past. Uh, Bloody Mary and Chance. Oh, this is awesome. And of course, everyone's favorite clown, Jack. <laughs> Jack will be back. So that's my prediction. An Anniversary House that has those classic icons how incredible would that be honestly that's going to be the busiest house that'll be the house that you have to hit first if that is true oh my gosh i can't even imagine you seeing all that incredible set design and all of that nostalgia Mm -hmm. i mean hhn nostalgia Mm -hmm. is just incredible i can't even think of another word like i'm so stoked i really 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 hope that this one is true or that i'm right about it that you're right about it um yeah that will be the most popular house yeah. Oh. Easy, easy. If they have this anniversary house, for sure. Oh, man, I'd be so stoked. Like, I, I'm already excited, just even the prospect of it. Oh. Now, that, now, the reason why I have the unknown, like, could the uh, the Terra Queen slide into this anniversary house? Perhaps. Right. Or does she get her own house? That's why I have that unknown. Right. So, I, I, I don't know from what I'm hearing, the puzzle pieces I'm putting together, if Terra Queen would be in the anniversary house or have her own house. So, let's give you a rundown of the houses now. Nine of ten houses I am predicting. Um, Beetlejuice. Mm-hmm. Bride of Frankenstein. Billy Eilish. Texas Chainsaw. Haunting of Hill House. Yep. The Pumpkin King. Original house. Bedtime Stories. What, then we've got a... Uh, Dungeons of Terror, is that it? Uh-huh. And uh, the last one I'm predicting, because the ninth, uh, the 10th one I don't know, we're going to go with the Anniversary House featuring past icons. There you go. That's my predictions. Actually, my phone just buzzed. I think the final piece of the puzzle has come together. Yes. And I will go out on the limb and say, yes, the 10th house will be Terra Queen. So, awesome. So add that to the list. How do you feel about that one? Fantastic. There's a lot of female-driven houses this year. Yeah. Bride of Frankenstein, Billie Eilish, Terra Queen. Mm-hmm. I like it. It's awesome. Well, there you go. So all right. So that that completes ten houses. I am predicting for HHN thirty. Let's see how we do. <laughs> Incredible. I think HHN thirty is going to be. Fantastic. If this is comes to fruition, I'm totally stoked. So this is what you need to do. Save this video. Earmark this video. And then when we get the official announcements, let's see how well I did predicting. Okay. I get I think we'll hold you to it, because you know we will. I'm gonna say I'll end, <laughs> I up, will. I'll end up with a B. I, this will be, I think, eighty percent at least eighty percent correct. Okay. I think that's my average through the years, has been about eighty percent correct. <laughs> well, I like it. I'm really hoping for that anniversary house, though. That'd be phenomenal. Um, I guess one last thing before we go. They are selling some tickets for HHN right now. Yeah. If you go to HowlingHornights.com, mm-hmm. um, if you go and visit the Orlando event, then you click on Orlando. Right now, they're offering, I think, uh, buy one night, get the second free, so two nights for the price of one. Okay. And I think that's around $85. Okay. But that's the only thing for sale right now. Really? Right. They, Not they, like a frequent fear pass. They have none of those for sale right now. Just Ooh. that one thing. And I think that's good until... Pause. Pause. Let me check my notes. Time in. Uh, <laughs> July 22nd. That's when that particular uh, deal is going on. But see, normally, usually what happens is I'll buy like our family's tickets all kind of in over the summer. And I usually by now... 
I think I've already bought cool. all of our frequent fear passes. Yeah. So this worries me. Well, I don't know. It's just a weird year. Well, yeah, I mean, well, that's this, definitely true, but... I'm sure that I think they will have the frequent fear passes again. Um, and all the R, uh, RIP tours and stuff. But right now, you can go online and buy that. Okay. Um, also on that website, .com, mm -hmm. uh the only other thing they're selling is like a hotel and ticket package. Okay, and what hotel is it this year? I don't know. I was going to refer you guys to go check out the link. Oh, okay, because <laughs> sometimes, like, it, it has been in the past Cabana Bay, right? I think so. Yeah. We've never stayed, so um, if you're interested in a package, a hotel uh, and Halloween Horror Nights, and I think they might even have a package that includes the theme park tickets. I don't know. Uh, just go check out the website and sh click on tickets and look for that hotel package to get all the details there. Gotcha. It's too much for me to try to remember. <laughs> you guys do You guys do some of the work, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, you do it all for us, please. <laughs> all right, I will. I'll try to do my best. And with all that being said, all that prediction being made... Don't miss the magic, don't miss the scares. Ooh, very nice. On point, on topic for this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching Rick's Looks, and now... It's time to relax.